What is up and welcome to a very special edition of Worth a Watch with me, Anthony Flores. This is my 160th episode. That's fucking crazy. I just hit 150 a while ago. 160 now, that's another little milestone in my humble opinion. Uh, uh, just talking about movies, Blu-ray updates. Some of the stuff I didn't quite count, like my... Uh, I just recently talked about the Jesse Eisenberg casting and all that other random shit with that Batman, Superman movie, what who's it, what's it's. But anyways, that's a whole other video. Feel free to check that out and some other stuff I've recently talked about and other Blu-ray updates and whatnot. So enough of the channel plugging and let's get to what more than likely you clicked on this video for. And that is a close-up look of the Danny Phantom, the complete series set. As well as a few Blu-rays I picked up will be showcased later, but this is the front and center. My God, this is just up in front and center here. And my God, I'm so happy to have this in my collection. This is not just because of pure materialistic gain here. Just like, oh, I'm a, uh, I have to have every DVD and Blu-ray ever imagined to make me happy. No, this, the memories of my early high school years checking this show out, and I remember in 2003. 2004, whenever this show was released around then, I fell in love with this show. I related to the character so much. I was a very geeky, nerdy-ish kid, you know, and that's what Danny Fenn is. He was that little, that just that shy, you know, nice guy who just kind of gets pummeled by bullies every once in a while. Uh, thankfully, I never had a bully problem, shockingly, but um, I guess my school was not too bad. But I was a nerd, and I related to that. Um, especially with Danny Phantom and his friends and just I, I had a lot of that relatability to the character right away and um, Long story short aside from my high school years and whatnot. I enjoyed cartoons and to this day I still I, I'm a grown 24 year old man and I still love cartoons like this to death I, I can't get enough of them and when Nickelodeon uh, has Some nice sets out there right now by um, Shout Factory and this as you can see there a nine DVD set for 20 bucks. I picked this up at Walmart. I'm assuming that's about the list price everywhere or retail. 20 bucks for a nine DVD complete set of Danny Phantom. That is just fucking awesome right there. And uh, as you can see, it is um, it has all 52 of the original episodes. And um, let's see, I don't, sadly there are no special features, ah, 2004 to 2007, it is full screen, and it's all around, uh, some nice little artwork here and there as well, and to get a closer up look, some awesome artwork in the background, and I'm going to remove the disc to really showcase the artwork in the back, but just to quickly go through the discs themselves, uh, we got yourself uh, Sam, Tucker, Jazz, and then this is Season 2, Part 1, which is on one disc. Uh, Danny right there again. And you got Vlad, Plasmius for Season 2, Part 2, and then Skulker. And the first time ever for Season 3, uh, that's the only way you're going to be able to get this. They did release the previous two seasons in three different DVD sets up to here. But this is the only way you can get Season 3 for those of you who are fans of the show. I highly recommend to pick this set up for such a good price. And I really don't like to stack discs, but um, uh, to really showcase the artwork for you all really quickly. Do so nice and carefully. That's why I have my paper towel over there in the corner because I don't want them to be on a table surface. But yeah, this show had a lot of awesome elements that a teenage kid like myself at the time would, you know, just being in high school for one made the character instantly relatable to me and just being all around a chill person, which is what Danny is. And that's, I'd like to think I'm that kind of guy. Even still today, I'm just this chill person. I'd like to think I get along with generally anybody I'm around with, unless you're an asshole to me. Well, then we all have our differences, but, um... I love the show for that. It was just a lot of great, awesome characters, and this is the back artwork. Sorry, this whole... Sadly, um, uh, Danny Phantom's mom is kind of covered up there, but you can see her right there. But Danny bashing in Skulker right there, and all the little ghost backgrounds. And don't know what the fuck that is. I don't remember that character. Got some other random ghosts up there, and um, everybody fleeing, and... Uh, with the crashing there, but yeah, this is a real it's got a nice weight to it too the, the when you put all the disc in 
But overall, this is a wonderful set. Shot Factory always does great work. I highly recommend this set. I've already watched several discs here or there, and the quality looks really good. As good as DVD sets can get. And they... Uh, too bad there's no uh, little special features or anything, but I'll take it. This is just a wonderful set. Highly recommended. A very, very underrated Nickelodeon show. Everybody talks about Rugrats. And um, Rocco's Modern Life became a hipster kind of show recently. I can tell everybody moved on that bandwagon. But I have always been with the Danny Phantom bandwagon. It's been a favorite show since episode one of, for me. And it's just fucking great animation, great stories, and all around very, very good characters. Um, very, very cool, and I definitely recommend it. And that's a whole gushing of that. <laughs> And to quickly go over a few pickups, I get pickups of uh, <clears throat> excuse me, pickups I have gotten recently. First up is Dexter, the fourth season. Um, all I can say is I got very lucky. I picked this up for seven ninety nine at one of my local pawn shops. Couldn't beat that price. I'm not too sure if I will be collecting the whole series. I mean, they have that cool box set and whatever. But I thought, you know what? I would rather pick up the individual seasons because I love artwork way more than that giant clusterfuck set they have. Um, and overall, just to really, really recap, this was an awesome show. Sadly, the last two, three seasons were a bit lackluster, but they had their moments. But seasons one through four, especially this one, if could be argued, this is the best season out of the entire series. For those of you who have seen the cliffhanger ending to that, it... It's mind blowing, and we all know that. <laughs> made some, made for some damn good television right there. Um, this was a repurchase. I was a fucking idiot for pawning this off, but again, I've been kind of regretting some of that lately. Sometimes you just have that phase where you're just like, "Fuck a movie, I'm gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna sell it, pawn it off, sell it off on eBay." And this movie, some of you may say, "Why the fuck did you rebuy this?" And to be honest. I grew up with this movie in my high school years as well. Um, not in my high school. Um, first year of college, actually, I think. Yeah, 2008. Yeah, long story short, I, uh, I think this was when this came out. Uh, either way, I don't care what age I am. You know, because movies stick with you sometimes, and this movie stuck with me. I love its just parodied over-the-top humor. It was one of the few good spoof films to have been released in recent years, and I... I I love every minute of it. It's stupidity at its finest, and the actors gave a shit doing good performances for it. This is a blind buy. Next up, um, Frida. I love uh, Salma Hayek in anything, and I this is a blind buy. I don't usually do that because uh, being a guy on a budget, I it's got lots of special features, by the way. Um, some cool artwork. Right now, Barnes & Noble is having an Oscar sale or whatever. So, for those of you who like Oscar movies, they got an Oscar sale going on. And this was $6.99, so that's not bad. Um, I've, uh, I'm have i an artist as well, for those of you who've stuck around my channel a while. And I have studied Frida Kahlo's work, and um, uh, she was a very interesting person, <laughs> to say the least. Um, but I'll give this a watch for sure um, in the near future, and I'm hoping it's good. <laughs> and last but definitely not least, right now... Target is having a $10 sale of everything, various Blu-rays such as this. Been wanting this for a while. Melissa McCarthy, Sandra Bullock were hilarious in this movie. And it's got a pretty sweet slipcover if you can find it for $10. The Blu-ray, DVD, digital copy, combo pack, good stuff. Lots of other Blu-rays out there, so head to your lo local Target right now um, as I'm filming this and check the date below. If not, well, sorry you're out of luck, but a uh, very good deal. And that should do it. For all these titles right here, pretty sweet stuff. Thank you for watching uh, this showcasing of the Danny Phantom set here. And for all the Blu-rays I picked up this past week. So thanks again for watching and I hope you enjoyed it, uh, this video without me getting more redundant. Feel free to comment below and thanks again for watching. And I'm Anthony Flores with Worth a Watch and keep going to the movies.